I've been making some ukuleles lately, more on that in videos to come, and I've needed some micro chisels to do inlay and rosette work. Never buy what you can borrow, never borrow what you can make. Hi, I'm Paul, this is openwoodshop.com, and today we're making micro chisels. A few years ago, I got a half a dozen or so plane blades on a clearance sale. I think they were less than about a dollar or so. Every now and then, I pull one out to make something, and out of this one will come a couple of micro chisels for doing my inlay work. So I'll use the angle grinder and cut a couple of slices off. Once they're cut, I'll have to shape them and clean them up. And when they're all done, they'll only be a couple of millimeters wide. I'm just kind of eyeballing it, no exact width just whatever looks good and on one of them it has a longer bevel and we'll see how that works out. The next step is to further clean things up using the disc and belt sanders. To save time use the biggest sanders and grinders first and then hand sand with your most aggressive sandpaper. Finer sandpapers come after that and then finally and only then do you go through the different stones. The final stone I'm using is the 8000 grit stone. On a plain blade or regular chisel, I would only use this stone for the micro bevel, but these small chisels won't have micro bevels, so I'm going to polish the whole exposed part. So far I've honed and polished all four sides. For the bevel, I found that I needed a guide. On a regular chisel, I don't really need to use this, but I found that I couldn't do so well on these small blades. The metal was too hard to cut with the hacksaw, so it was back to the angle grinder for cutting to length. Next come some handles. I've had some black locust around that I milled from a stick of firewood some time ago, and this seemed like a good use for it. To tell the truth, I don't really know what shape of handle I want, so I just went to the belt sander and sort of made something. If I want to pretty them up after I've used them for a while, I can always make new handles. When drilling the holes in the ends, I realized that my drill bit was veering off uh, between the rings and into the softer parts of the wood. So I chucked the bit up real tight and uh, leaving just a little bit sticking out. No bit to flex that way and I just kept stopping and letting a little more out at a time. nice tight fit in the handle. Now that I know where the blade is situated in the handle, I went back to the belt sander and did some final shaping and sanded a little indent on the handle right over where the top side of the blade is. A little thumb rest if you will. And of course, you know I kept an eye on that blade making sure it didn't touch the sander. Some boiled linseed oil was left in the can, so that became the finish. I uh, gave it a good healthy coat, and it gets left to sit overnight. And now for the test. And they seem to cut just fine. The one with the longer bevel tends to dig in, so it takes a little more practice to get right. I don't know if there will be obvious uses for each type of bevel when they go into use, but of course I can always come back and modify them if need be. In the end, the wide chisel measured in at 88 thousandths of an inch or almost two and a quarter millimeters, and the narrow chisel with a low angle long bevel was 74 thousandths or 1.89 millimeters. So now it's on to other things, and hopefully they'll be put to good use soon. Thanks for following me around the shop, and I'll see you next time.